So when you're buying a home, finding information about school districts and crime rates has been easy. Until now, though, figuring out how healthy a neighborhood is was tough. Well, now you can do this. Gabriel Rojas, Live Force in Plano, with how a new tool helps you pick a healthy community for you and your family. All ears, Gabriel. Well, if you just drive through this neighborhood, you'll be able to see that it's got a nice park. But if you use the 500 Cities website, you'll learn that it has a 12.9% smoking rate. That's about 10% less than another neighborhood to the east. And that's the kind of detail that some home buyers are putting to use. We want to live in neighborhoods with good schools and low crime, and many of us would also like to be surrounded by healthy people. For Tricia Carter, a community full of chronic conditions and unhealthy behavior is probably one to avoid. How each area within it is impacted by different types of uh, behaviors or health conditions in general um, would definitely lead towards helping me decide. Carter is looking for a home in Plano for her and her son. The CDC's new 500 Cities website offers statistics on diseases and behaviors that can lead to health problems in the 500 biggest cities in America. It allows users to drill down all the way to individual neighborhoods. You know, is there an area that there are excessive drinkers compared to the areas where it's less likely? I'm going to go for the area that it's less likely to ensure that I'm setting the right example for him and that it's not right in front of him all the time. The more information they have for a neighborhood or about a neighborhood, the more comfortable they're going to be uh, to move into that neighborhood. Realtor Jennifer Davis says clients are increasingly interested in a community's wellness and the 500 Cities site will help her empower them to make informed decisions. Being able to check up on that and find out what changes have happened over the years in the event that you want to sell, knowing that the area is retaining the value that you saw in it, I think that's huge. The site is designed to allow public health officials to identify problem areas so they can direct resources to the neighborhoods most in need. We're live in Plano. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.